Good morning, boys and girls of the internet. Just going over all my hitches and pins and stuff. We're loading up the big dirty duck. Uh oh, that's not the big dirty dodge. That's the big dirty dodge. We're loading up the uh, the big dirty Tahoe this morning. The big dirty Z71 Tahoe. Cause we're gonna go deliver the Ford F-150 to our new home. F1 city. Truck. That's it right there. That was reverse. This thing's kind of funny to get in the park. You gotta sit these things a little bit far forward. I don't like having stuff sitting on the dovetail. Bad boy. 77, 1977 Ford F-150 Custom. Oh yeah. I thought you meant the one at the house. I thought you meant you worked the one off the 71. That's what I thought. And I was like, dang, you weren't concerned about it. Yeah, screw this thing. But yeah, I don't like having them sit on the dovetail. I like there's a lip right here where it levels out. And usually as long as you get the back wheel over the edge of that scrap her down and she'll be fine she barely even put a little teeny teeny little tiny little carolina squat on tahoe just teeny little teeny teeny tiny little bit squat see look it's like that much and that's like that much yeah so now i know you want to hear it sing so singing but anyway we're loading up this bad girl she's going to Pauline South Carolina to her new home where I hope she is 
loved and adored. It's got a little old Trio 2 in her. Got a uh, brand hammer new motorcraft carb, uh, distributor cap, rotor plugs, wires, coil, battery, starter solenoid, wires, uh, newer radiator, hoses, alternator, heater core hoses, uh, ignition module. I mean, just tons and tons of new parts. Uh, we did all this to this truck. Back in the last summer, the guy brought it to us, wanted us to get it running and driving for him. So I went through the whole truck electrically. Oh, come on now. And mechanically. Got it running and driving and starting and stopping and put in some gaugeulators down in here so you could see how much oil pressure it didn't have and how hot she was overheating, you know. And, and then when he got it home, so he said he drove it home, drove it once or twice, and then didn't drive it since. So then he calls us, he's like, would you want to buy it? I've got no use for it. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Did all this work to this truck and now you're not even gonna drive it, which is fine. I mean, stuff happens, you know, no, not left in there. So then, then we buy it, had to put some tires on it because they come off the rim and it was ugly. Put some good used tires on there just to roll around the parking lot. The hood needs to be fixed. It needed a set of hinges, but couldn't get them to do it, you know. And someone started doing some form of body work on it. Got all the chrome and the trim in the back to go down on the sides. That goes with the truck. And here we are. So it runs, it drives, it starts, it stops, and it's got a clean title. And now it's off to her new home in Pauline, where hopefully she'll get another chance at life. And uh, I mean, it's a good truck, it's solid. Everything underneath it's solid. But it's got a lot of Bondo patches in it now where someone just went crazy with it, but. Frame's good, tank's good, spring perches, shackles, all that stuff. Really good shape. Could use some new bushings right there, them little lower length, them trailing bushings, them are common to fail. So I mean, it, it could use some of those, but no big deal. Anyway, there she sits, going to her new home. I'm gonna help dad strap it down. That's a cool picture with the water tower in the background like that, ain't it? That old mill, there's an old mill over there and they still use it. So anyway, there you go. Just thought I'd share the little F-150 if she goes off to her new home. Thanks for watching folks, let's save another one. This one's gone, now we've got room. Got a spot on the hill. To rescue another one so let's get on any last words father dearest um, no nothing no anything no not really first first toe on the tahoe first toe on the tahoe all right well, let's get her strapped down